Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the importance of unstructured free time in the lives of kids. One trend I've seen in our society that I find very troubling is that over the course of my life I've noticed that kids seem to have less and less free time as they're growing up. And when I talk to people in my parents' generation, I notice that the way they describe their childhood relative to the way I grow up suggests that that trend was going on for a long time before I was born. That there's this steady trend of like kids having less and less time that's just completely unstructured, they can play, they can do whatever they want, they have less time like that, and more of their time is taken up in formal activities where it's all scheduled or structured for them. So for example, kids have been spending a little bit more time in school over the years, but then they're also given a lot of homework to do outside of school. But that's not the end of it. There are also all these extracurricular activities, some of which are associated with school, and some of which might be other organizations that the parents just enroll the kids in these activities. A lot of these things are good things, like I benefited a lot from some of these extracurricular activities, and I'm not going to say that they're bad, I'm not going to say that we want to get rid of all these things, but I think it's important to balance this sort of programming of kids with giving the kids free time that is completely unstructured. When I think of what my ideal would be, I would like kids to have several hours every day of completely unstructured time. That's not homework, that's time where they can do whatever they want. Now why is this important? I think there are a whole bunch of reasons. One of them is that I think that free time is necessary for optimal performance and optimal mental health. I've noticed that there has been a trend of increasing mental disorder in our society, and I think some of that might be due to better diagnosis, but I think that there's a degree to which some of it is due to us just trying to do too much stuff. Like I notice with myself, if I schedule myself too tightly, like I fill up all the space, and I don't give myself any free time at all, at a certain point I'll reach my breaking point. Like, I need some amount of downtime to relax and to process all the stuff that's going on. If I don't have that, I become overwhelmed with anxiety, and my performance starts to suffer in every area. Like, I'll have trouble concentrating and things like that. I talk to a lot of people who are teachers, and they frequently complain to me about how kids have trouble focusing in class and paying attention and staying on task. And I think we can maybe put two and two together here, like maybe the fact that kids have so little free time today is connected to them having trouble concentrating on these activities that they're scheduled to do. Like I notice if I'm not having enough time to just zone out, my brain will make me zone out when I'm doing other activities, and that's not good. So why else is free time important? One thing that I think is really critical about, about free time is that it helps kids to develop initiative. Like it kind of teaches them to learn how to use time and to learn how to come up with things to do. And that is incredibly valuable. It's valuable for like having fun, so you're not just getting bored, but it's also valuable from a perspective of productivity and like career skills, life skills. I've talked to a lot of people, business owners and managers who hire employees, and I've talked to them about what qualities they look for in employees. And one thing that I hear people express a lot is that they find it hard to find employees who take initiative readily like who can come up with useful things to do without being instructed to do them. And I've been in workplaces where I've done this sort of thing, like I've finished my work, and instead of just going right to my boss and like asking them for something to do, which might actually be imposing on them, it might be distracting them, creating more work for them, instead of doing that, I look around me and I look at what I've been doing and I start finding things that I can do. 
finding ways to save money or ways to save work later on for myself or for others, way to, ways to help my coworkers, things like that. And I've talked to people who've worked in different jobs, like I've had friends who worked in jobs and they take on those sorts of tasks, those sorts of responsibilities of their own initiative. And I notice that those people are usually the ones who are most likely to get promotions, to end up in managerial positions or to be earning more money. And I think it's because they're providing more value to the businesses they're working in. And how do you develop this sort of skill? I certainly feel like I didn't develop it by following instructions or by doing homework, doing worksheets, doing what I was told to do in school. I think that I developed this sort of skill by having unstructured time and by having to figure out what I wanted to do. I noticed that in that time I often would take on big ambitious projects that were much more ambitious than anything I was ever given in school. For example, uh, in high school I started programming a chess program. I started programming at the age of eight, by the way. That's another thing that I learned completely on my own during that free time, because I love computers. I started programming this chess program, and I got to the point, finally, where it could beat me. And I'm like, that is freaking awesome! I wrote this program that could beat me. It was kind of terrifying, and then I stopped working on it at that point. But, um, just to give you an idea, I saw a lot of other kids who were also doing these really ambitious things. Like one of my friends in high school re like wrote from scratch a Donkey Kong game on his like TI-82 calculator. I'm like, how the heck can you do something that complex with a little calculator programming language? But he managed to figure it out and it was pretty awesome. So if you give kids unstructured time, then you don't know what they're going to do with it. But I think that there's so many different ways it can help them. So next time you hear someone being like, oh, we need to make our kids work harder and kids aren't being given enough homework and they're lazy, and when you start hearing people saying stuff like that, maybe you could think about this issue of free time and maybe you could bring up some of the points that I brought up. Because I think that we are way past the point of kind of diminishing returns for scheduling kids with more stuff to do. And I think a lot of these arguments of kids needing to do more and needing to work harder is kind of bullshit. I think that what we really need to do to help them the most and to help our society the most is to give them more free time. I think that would be really, really beneficial in a wide range of different ways. So I hope I've challenged some of these ideas. Uh, and as always, I would love to hear from you if you have something to add, something to something you disagree with, uh, a question, please comment. And I always really appreciate it when people share my videos or subscribe. Thank you!